when people say, oh, you're a woman and you're leading SFT India and stuff like that, that pisses me off so much. Yeah, I heard like some government saying I, will, I wouldn't stick more than six months, but I complete my three years term. Whatever women do, it's not, uh, you know, like noticed. Actually, how or like me brought me to the Tibetan struggle is that uh, if I was like young and fun, you know, like um, but the 2008, you know, I'm sure that uh, 2008, the Olympic in Beijing, that uh, uh, protests, demonstrations were everywhere in the in the country, right? And also in, in Nepal, especially, very active. Tibetan were so brave. And also in Tibet, you know, there were lots of like uprising was coming, protests. You know, so many people were arrested and genocide was <coughs> happening. And we used to uh, look at footage, you know, which actually hit me so badly inside me. Like, you know, I'm Tibetan and I have to do something for my country. In our community, there were not uh, young women who were working in the office or working for the people, you know, on the whole. And then at the same time, our community, wherever they are settled, they need, you know, like uh, people working in the office and looking after their affairs and things like that. So while studying also, I started uh, helping the, you know, one of the organizations that established Tibetan mm -hmm. settlements in the South. honest like I've never worked as like as a woman activist and stuff like that. I never think like that and sometimes I feel like it's derogatory you know as a woman you are leading this thing right and I, I mean maybe not because of women like because of what I'm capable of right and if I'm, I'm not capable then I can't do shit right it looks like there is a platform oh like women are doing great like this and then the, all this stuff right but then like when they come up in a position and then it's not only in Tibetan community it's everywhere I believe Oh, she's very rude. She's not this. She's she does this, and then she she's not decisive. She cannot get all this stuff. Right? There was always a, a male president, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that was the big news that I was the first woman president in Kathmandu. I heard like some guy was saying I w I wouldn't stick more than six months, but I complete my three years term. The independent woman can contribute more. That's what I feel, you know, like your whole, your all the time, all your time you can put on this cost, you know. If you are asking me about my personal life, uh, I'm married to an Indian. So, uh, my life was uh, sort of from my young age, you know, it's dedicated for my uh, people. So for Tibetan people and Tibetan women especially, it's very, very important that we must realize that we are Tibetan women. Because in olden days, you say nuns, they live in the nunneries, but they don't have that opportunity to study as much as they want. But now the road is, you know, open for them. So the opportunity is given for Tibetan nuns to study further and further and sit for the highest, uh, you know, examination. And that they have done last year and 20 uh, Geshe Mas uh, completed their degrees. The thing about Buddhism that intrigues me is how 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 you can be selfless you know let's take an example of this woman i think like her name is doji yudu right and she was when tibet lost its independence and uh, china occupied the country well, she's from nyaro which is kam um, and uh, um, their husbands were taken away and this woman uh, lead the army and uh, uh, got it got their husbands and everything back right 
And I believe at that time, like, I think I, I didn't read the book as such, but I just heard it from one of my friends. And when she said that, it kind of like made me amazed. Like, it was an amazing story of how brave that woman was. And at the same time, I believe like it was to some extent a selfless thing that she has done. When you talk about Tibetan women, uh, she's not different from any other women of the world. We all are same. But there are uh, certain things which uh, women of other nations might fight for, you know, ask for. But Tibetan women, they will fight, but not to so, sort of equalize with the, you know, other needs. For us, our focus is to keep our identity intact.